for 25 years. I spent first about six years of my career at the Manhattan DA's office and have been in private practice since. So certainly have uh, familiarity with what's going on here, how cases are tried, have handled all kinds of cases, murder cases, whatnot, a lot of high profile cases, a lot of complex cases. So this is what I do. So it's an interesting case for me. I'm from Massachusetts, so that kind of picked my interest. And, uh, you know, I can certainly add some expertise and analysis. So that's what I've been doing. Yeah, so when did you uh, first find out about this case? Because you, I, I, you just made your appearance recently on Twitter. I, I started seeing you. You've been going on the Young Jerks a lot. When did you get into this case? Well, uh, well I mean, I heard about it when it happened. I mean, I read the Globe Sports, not much else in the Globe. But every now and then the Metro and saw this. It was interesting. Followed it for maybe the first year casually. Was more interested in some of the legal stuff going on with the DA's office more than who anybody was. I didn't know anything factually other than what the allegations were, who Karen Reed was, a few other people. Um, in terms of getting interested in it recently, it, it's all Wendy Murphy's fault, ironically. <laughs> so, um, well, what some, happened? It's somebody, no, no, somebody I know very well said, you've got to see these tweets by this idiot lawyer. <laughs> and um, they were <laughs> offensive. I mean, beyond just being dumb and wrong, they were offensive. She would post about presumptions of guilt and how... If she doesn't testify, that's a sign that she and her lawyers know she's guilty and everybody knows she's guilty and the jury could presume her guilty. And so I just started responding to her. That lasted about a couple days before after calling me an idiot and a moron, she just ended up blocking me. So that's how you that, was. Well, that led me to do a little research. I couldn't help myself. Who, who is this woman? And in five minutes, I, I find found out that she had been sanctioned uh, by two federal courts, at least two federal courts, ironically enough, for filing frivolous litigation, making false representations, and those sort of things, exactly the kind of thing that, that she's been doing online. So that caught some people's attention because I didn't know about what you guys had all been